Here we are doing SOP2 of HTML, skill set 2 of FIGC HTML5. Now here in SOP2 what we need to do, we need to create a web page with the following specification. What are the specification is required in this web page? First there has to be an image of any scientist, here you will use the image of Albert Einstein and then here along with the image there has to be an alternate text uh, as his name. So here the name also has to be there with alternate text. The concept of alternate text is such when I take the cursor on the image the name should appear. Then what is the another specification that in this we need to create a paragraph related to information of that scientist. So here the paragraph tag has to be there and inside the paragraph tag the information about the scientist has to be there. Then other specification that we need to create a table. So here you will learn how to create a table also and inside the table we need to write is her inventions. So here what new things we need to learn. We need to learn okay how to put an image along with alternate text and then we need to create a paragraph and then we need to create a table. So these are the specification we will be learning in this experiment. So first we will see the output how it looks like. Here is the Im okay, image of the scientist is there and along with the image here we have put the paragraph also of the scientist and then we have put the table also. So now this will see the coding image alternate text paragraph and the tables. So here is the coding. doc type html indicates that we are writing the html5 for coding html tag open head tag open title tag open this is sop2 title tag close you will see the title tag over here sop2 here it is mentioned and then image space src here i had put the image of albert einstein dot jpg make sure this image has to be there in, in the folder I'll just open my folder and I'll show it to you. In my folder, the image is there of Albert Einstein. So the same name I have to copy and paste. If the image is not there in your folder, so it will not open or the image has to be there in the specific location. So that <coughs> specific location source you need to give. Then all is equal to Albert Einstein. So the alternate image, like when you put the cursor, the name should come. So you, this is the image part. It's over here. Here the image part that we need we have worked on. Now we'll work on the paragraph part. Now BR means line break next tag. So the second criteria of the question that it has to be a paragraph. So we had completed this okay part of the question image okay with an alternate text. So I'm just highlighting so that we have completed this part. Now the second part okay with that we need to com complete that we need to create a paragraph related to information of that scientist. So here p tag open, p tag indicates I am writing a paragraph. So I have to write okay in the paragraph the achievement of the scientist okay related to information of that scientist. So what are the information what I got okay I have just noted down the information about the scientist. Then br is the next line. Then paragraph tag was open, paragraph text was closed. So this thing I have written okay in the paragraph tag. So my the criteria the of the question okay the specification one of the specification was the paragraph. So I have completed the paragraph part also. Now the another specification is I need to create a table of his her invention. Now to create a table I need to open a table tag. Now here I had opened the table tag. I had kept the border of the table is 5. And the border color of the table is pink. Let's see the table border is 5 and the color of the border color of the table is pink. Now when I write table tag I need to write okay table row. So in the table what it, it is there it is the table row. Now in the table row what is the table heading. What is there in the heading serial number invention and year. So first in the first row that is tr open tag and tr close in the first row three table headings are there that is serial number invention and year so this is my first row this is table row the complete set is my table row starting from serial number invention and year inside table row table heading is there serial number invention and year 
now i will create another table row now inside the table row first i have to write okay table row open here and table row close here we had worked on table heading now another i am opening a table row here table row tag open and here table row close now in between i am putting table data now what data i am putting serial number 1 an invention is quantum theory of light year is 1905 you can see over here serial number 1 that is my table data but table row open tag over here and table row tag open in in between i am putting table data that is serial number 1 quantum theory of light it is table data and 1905 table data is there so you had notice okay, okay the table data tag immediately opens and immediately close same here table heading immediately opens and table heading close so here in this way okay we had completed our table row first part now serial number 2 exactly the same you can copy paste also the same thing and from 1 you can replace 2 from quantum theory of light you can replace theory of relativity from 1905 you can replace 1907 so table row open table row close inside table row open table row close table data is there that is number 2 theory of relativity and 1907 you can see in this question in this way we had completed our table part so the table tag open table tag close body tag open body tag close html open html close so this question of the criteria also has been completed that we have created a table and in that table okay we had mentioned okay all this inventions so here we have completed this web page with following specification we have created an image with alternate text we had created a paragraph and we had created a table also you can see very well in the output image is there paragraph is there and the table is there i hope you have understood okay if you have any query you can always ask me thank you